Hi, this is Varnish Vidit and you're watching the channel English Wise and I'm back with one more video about English uh, on English supplement and this is again on prepositions and this is lesson 3 of preposition. In this third lesson on prepositions, I'm going to take one more important uh, uh, phrase that is uh, sometimes we are confused whether it should be at the end or in the end. So both are correct at the end as well as in the end, but they both have different context. They are used in different manner in different with the different references. Like first we'll take at the end. You can see that at the end means at the end of something means at the end of something when something happens, then we are supposed to use at the end and it is used when something ends. At the end means there is an end of something, then we say at the end, like uh, at the end of the day, at the end of November, at the end of the function or at the end of the play or at the end of September or at the end of the course. So when the course ended or the month of November or September ended or when the day ended or when the play or any function ended. So for that, for the end, to reference, to make a reference to the end of something, we have to use at the end. Now, in the end, in the end, in the end means finally, means to say that it is the final result and nothing is left, means it's complete. When we are having a sense of completion or we are saying that we are saying in uh, in a manner finally then we have to say in the end like for example I had lots of problems with my laptop so in the end I sold it and bought a new one. I had lots of problems with my laptop in the end means finally I sold it and bought it bought a, another one a new one same way like uh, she lost her temple badly she lost her temper badly in the end i disconnected the phone means finally i disconnected the phone i ended the call my friend didn't agree to my proposal so i worked on it alone in the end means finally i did work on it on my own i didn't take the support or assistance of my friend so my friend did not agree to my proposal so i worked on it alone in the end so in the end means finally and at the end means when something ends when there is an end of something now we can also have the opposites of both at the end as well as for in the end opposite of at the end is at the beginning means totally opposite of at the end is at the beginning like at the beginning of the function like we we're saying at the end of the function so same way we say at the beginning of the function same way in the end has an opposite at first like at first uh, we didn't uh, like each other but at the end we became very good friends at first we didn't like each other but at the end we became very good friends so this way we are this we can use at the end as well as in the end and their opposites are at beginning at the beginning or at first that's the end of this video and uh, I hope this will be very helpful to you to understand prepositions and to use them in a correct manner. And uh, I request all of you to make uh, some sentences and put them into the comment box. This is a task for you. Make two sentences with at the end or two sentences with in the end and even with at first or at the beginning. And uh, put them in the comment box. I'll check how correctly you're making the sentences and how correctly you're using both of them or these two phrases at the end are in the end. So do not forget to like, press the like button, subscribe the channel, please uh, keep uh, send a comment, leave a comment also in the comment box and share this video further with other people. Till then, goodbye, have a nice time, thank you.